This video shows the following error. Uh, my application is seems to have a problem. It's an Angular application. And when I have a look onto the ng-serve, I will see that there's the error, error uh, ng8002 can't bind to ng-model since uh, it isn't a known property of input. So uh, it has a problem with this uh, position. Now we have a look on this position. The output is still running, seems to be okay, but it's not compiling and that's the problem. And this happens because we have here our, um, where is it? I'm closing all those windows for a second and now what we see there we have here in the output that's the output in the output we have the ng model which is seems to be okay and this is based on it goes to the variable list name and when we look at the code behind this is the front end HTML and that's the back end TypeScript we will go to the uh, to the TypeScript in the background. Here it is. That's my TypeScript in the background. There we have the string variable uh, list name. So this also seems to be okay. But the real input uh, important thing is that it says it's inside the input there inside the input. That what the application says. Um, ng8003 can't bind to the ng model since it isn't a known property of input. And this means that we have to look for the uh, for input as a form module. And this is when we go to our app component, there where all, all our components are. There we need here uh, the import forms module in, in Angular forms and we have to register it here in the imports uh, and we say there this one forms module and when we have a look then at the compiler and we type any uh, any keystroke then you will see compiled successfully again which makes a clear doesn't work clear uh, clear screen isn't not working at ng surf but when we look at our application at the outpu uh, output output we do something here we save it control s and then you see it's compiling and now it's running again so this is the error ng ng uh, 8002 can't bind to ng model since it isn't a known property of input.